So, hello everyone, one more time for Usana Love Comedy, we're the best friend, shadow best friend, will win! And we have the first frame, it's a sleazy manager guy, he was really sleazy. And uh, this is, a, you know, the Van Dyke kind of sleazy hair, it's like, oh little girl, you wanna be my TV? I can pay for you, yeah, you wanna be my TV girl? Uh, so it's good, he defended his girlfriend, I mean, one of his girlfriends. Uh, and, I mean, otherwise the anime is pretty good, right? Uh, it's not my, f I would say this thing, I mean, I th I th the anime is pretty funny. But, but it's not my favorite comedy. And one thing I have to, you know, mind is like, is you know, it's must be my, it's the voice actor, it was Soma, and it was, of course, uh, and so on, right? So, of course, it's the voice actor from Quetuplet. And then we have two th sisters, right? We have Yotsuba, she's there, and so on, right? Also, Gabby, you know, and so on. Uh, Yotsuba, she's there, etc. So, we have like the classic voice actors for this, you know, <laughs> horror. And Last season of uh, Quetuplet, last, of course, last season, and also last season of Quetuplet, that was really good. That was like a really good. So what was good too, I think one of the better horrors I've seen in my life, you know, straight up, e e immediately, Quetuplet, but last season was really good. I mean, I really loved them, of course, Ichika turned evil and fought them, so and I was like, oh, this is good shit, man! Ichika is pure evil! Ah, this is awesome! <laughs> and they're fighting her and so on, that was awesome. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like, uh, this anime is definitely not on Quetuplet level, I would say that thing. But I think it's pretty funny. Um, it's one of the. It's hard to say. I, I feel like is it the, is that the best horror anime? But it, it definitely goes its own unique path by being very like uh, and subversive the trope. I think the problem though with that thing, as I said earlier, is that this anime. This is probably my biggest critique to this anime. I like the anime, but and I like you know subversion. I like parody, right? You know, I love Konosuba and so on. So I like the whole idea of like subversion the trope and so on. The thing is that you can't always only subvert the trope. This, that's my biggest thing with anime. I like the anime, but it, I think it would be better if it didn't always use subvert the trope. You know what I mean? Because it's all like, I did, yeah, yeah. And if, if it happens like every now and then, because then, then you don't expect it, right? So episode three, it was like, I am subverting every trope 100%. And then, and then it becomes predictable. Because it was something like uh, Asobo Asobase, which is a really good anime, you know, with the crazy girls that are playing the board games. That anime is subverting tropes, but it's also very random. So you you don't you, you don't you don't know what they're gonna do. Are they gonna go to the moon or do you you know like what's happening? Yeah, you don't know what to do, right? So why is subverting tropes and it's parodying? You don't know where they're going with it, right? In this anime here, you kind of you kind of know where they're gonna go though. You kind of oh, he's gonna he's gonna turn him down, you know. You, you kinda, yeah, that girl. You, she turned, you kind of know where it's going. That's my kind of thinking with this anime. I still like it, but I feel I think it would be a little better. It was a little harder to predict where they're gonna go. Uh, him defending his girlfriend, that's a good scene. But also kind of what I expect, you know, because his anime is kind of going against the typical main character from at least old school horror animes. But that's good though, I mean, he's a proper boyfriend, right? But anyway, that was episode so three, two, one, and go. But I hope it does more, you know, unpredictable subversion, you know what I mean? Then I would like the anime a lot more, yeah. Then I would be like, whoa, it's a good anime. Man, this guy is so sleazy though. <laughs> He's a very tropey, sleazy bad guy. He's like, man, you're a little young girl. Want to make some money? Yeah. Uh, you're no fun at all, girl. He's like, come on, like, yeah, this guy's just creepy. Man, this is creep on creep, man. And yeah, he throws the water on him. You know, stand up, boyfriend, though. Respect. Wine, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, it was wine, right? But it's like, well, it's wine. <laughs> What's it water for? It's the liquid. <laughs> it's like everything you meet is flows water, yeah. Melting Met metal as water, yeah. Even it's hot. But no, no, it throws uh, wine at him. Wine. <laughs> They're very aggressive for being typical uh, anime characters. Okay, what's happening? Why would you stay here? It's like, I'm calling up to you! Stay here! <laughs> like, what? Why would they stay? Why would you just leave? <laughs> He's like, I'm calling the cops on you. Actually, stay here for an hour. I'm going to get some bears. Why, why would they, you know? Yeah, why would you stay? Why would they be like, hey, he's right. I'm going to stay and wait for whatever he wants to do. Yeah. Sure, boss. Okay, let's stay here. 
But yeah, this guy is clearly like creep. You just get some other manager or you know, kind of TV guy. As you Onishan! <laughs> it's like you're my Onishan, weird girls! Stop doing your sister thing. Your oppa is a pretty big As your oppa sister, you better do what I want, boy. That's right. Yeah, Haru Baka, indeed. And as your big oppa is, I'm telling you what to do. What can happen now then? She's her dad, I guess? Yeah, Shiro's dad's coming in. The rich guy. He's a rich daddy, right? Papa! You hit two Shiro? I like how you did it first. Just daughter, he was like, oh, you hit two? <laughs> Papa, yeah, oh, I didn't see you first, honey. Hey, it's opening, I guess. Probably. No? No opening? Kind of weird. But I guess Shiro's papa is so powerful, this manager guy is like, you know, the TV evil guy is like... As a human being, he was right, so that's proper. No, no matter what the law says. That guy's a douchebag. <laughs> they're like, that guy's a douche, <laughs> he's heard it. Let's not do any different, yeah, they're like, okay. And like I said, they're like, polishing. This guy is a straight up douchebag, he's like, yeah, that's right, I'm gonna polish. Yeah, but I was put my niche up. But I like how he's like, he's a douchebag, he's a, he's a creep, so let him do it. <laughs> his... But he clearly cares about the money, right, that he, the, the father has. The ri rich dad, you know, yeah, rich dad, right. As you all know, you know, rich daddies have the power, right. And what she's doing now, then? Okay, but she's an Italian little girl. Tri the trickster, yeah. What's your plan then? A contest? <laughs> to join his agency? What, what is this weird? He's animated weird agency stuff. Yeah, you're gonna fight about him in another contest and then the winner gets the boyfriend or something? What? This sounds a lot like episode 3 again. Yeah, okay. He agrees though, so okay. Um. I don't know why I said Nathan, I always say no, for him it's just good that they do two. Yeah, I mean for him it's just better, yeah. <laughs> why would he say no? Is that fine on Ishaba? Or I mean, Papa on Ishaba thing? And he's like, yeah, sure, because then I can pick the best one and, and probably do better for me. Like, I would be like, yeah, like, it's, a, it's like a clear issue for me to do it. <laughs> for him it's only an advantage that he can just pick the better one and get free. Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, of course. Uh, it's a lot more work. <laughs> it's a lot more work for you people. To a perfect activity, definitely. Ultra Marine Alliance. Sounds like some kind of, you know, uh, yeah, fighting card use. Okay, here's the rules. Budget, commercial, with the same budget, publish on a date. This anime is a lot about this, uh, yeah. Staff and so on. <laughs> it's very, it's very detailed here. Yeah. She's gonna fight him, of course. We said, "I'll defeat you, Onishan." Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna defeat you. Exactly. I was counting on your fame, stupid girl. But I, I knew it. I mean, I knew it. She's like, "I wanna fight you, Onishan." Yeah. Freaking knew it. I knew it. That feels like her, yeah. That is that, that fits her character. That definitely fits her character, I would say. She's like, no, 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 I wanna defeat you, Onishan. Yeah, of course she's like, your team, I'm against you, Onishan. Uh, definitely fits her character. She's like, how can I make it worse for you, right? Um, I'll say so, definitely. That fits her character. Uh, yeah, I would say. 
Most definitely. Yeah, yeah, come on. She's all like, <laughs> how can I defeat you, Anisha? Well, I have to say, I like to say the anime, though, they're going in on the route here. They, uh, I mean, you know, this episode, but they're focusing on, on this agency and, you know, celebrity kind of stuff. So they, you want a little, yeah, like the premise is, it is different than most of the horrors. They, they aren't like, you know, Boku Band or Quetuplets and so on when they're in school. I mean, they are in school, but you know what I mean? They aren't focusing on studying or whatever, right? It's very classic. Or, La Vida is also studying, right? The, the, being studying is probably the most basic, classic storyline of horror, right? That they are studying together. In this anime, at least they are like doing something else. Uh, can I publish the. I forgot about the seven things again. I should probably can publish it. Uh, YouTube is slower today. Yeah, that's good. So next. There we go. Sometimes YouTube is very slow, so if you do a video, it won't publish to whatever. There we go. Yeah, it's published there. <laughs> the dance moves is freaking awesome. This like yeah, I saw his dance moves. It was the best thing ever. It's like no, really not. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like how she's like those dance moves. They were legendary. It's like he looks horrible when he dances. <laughs> I'm just like are you? I'm I'm sorry. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it, guys. I'm just like oh yeah, it's like that doesn't look good at all. Damn oh Honey Sean You say have to give support. I'm you smarter than me, do what I want woman, yeah. Respect. Draw up already, girl. <gasps> Honey Sean Yeah, it's how he headbutts his girlfriend to make her love him. Man, is this working in real life? If you help out a girl that kind of makes you love you, the, the world would be so nice. It would be easy to get a girlfriend, yeah. It would to... <laughs> yeah, be stuck. It would be so easy getting a girlfriend, man. Yeah, now she's falling in love with Anisha here. You're my hero! And he quits acting after mommy dies, of course. Yeah. But I mean, it makes sense he quit because, of course, his mom really loved acting and she died, right? So. Yeah, I think his backstory is, is pretty well written. Like, it makes perfect sense. Like he would be depressed or so on if his mom died. And especially how his mom was like the one to really be the one that liked acting, right? Made him even become an actor to begin with. Um, like, it wasn't like he actually liked acting. I mean, he did like acting, of course, but you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like he asked his mom, can I be an actor? Mom, it was his mom being, you should be an actor, right? And then she died, and, you know, so that makes sense. And then she was like, you will become an actor, right? And he didn't like it too, but I mean, it was mom that got into it, right? So, um, hmm. Who Sean? This is what's going to add now, and they're like, oh, there's a baseball, what put of life? Okay, yeah, what's the ad, what's, what's the ad about that? That's it. <laughs> okay, is there their ad? Yeah, the uh, Ultra Marine Alliance. They're fighting Cadius, clearly. There's going to be some Cadius battling going on here. Yeah, get the hot sh Shiro. He's all happy that he seduced her, yeah. Play some badminton with Kuru. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! This is a great ad and she's getting all like, yeah, da! Yeah. And she's part of the Ultramarine Alliance! It's a very long ad, this is the ad. It's very long. <laughs> oh, yeah, WeTube. <laughs> now they're running, because in every anime opening you need running, so they're like, we need to run there, you know, we need to have that classic running scene, yeah. Come on, let's go! 
Yay, no, ja, jeg vil lige have that. Enjoy your youth, aqua mine. <laughs> That's a great end. Oh, no, no, that Ultra, I love the name though. It feels like they're doing a cabbie fight. They're like, we're the Ultra Alliance. Yeah, we're gonna fight. Ultra Marines transforming, combining our powers to fight. Yeah, focus on the actual, exactly from the ad, from the actual item. Yeah, I agree with her, the noobs. I agree with her fully because this would be a pretty bad ad. It focuses too much on them as people versus them as their you know alliance, them as the actors, right? Whatever, versus uh, focusing on uh, uh, the brand, right? Or like, not the brand, but like brand and also but the, the actual object to sell, right? So it wouldn't be a very good uh, commercial. Yeah, Mo keeps having the towel on her head forever. <laughs> her hair is very wet apparently because she's been having a towel for I guess like four hours now. <laughs> her hair just wasn't dry, man. That's perfect little motor with like magical wet hair. It's just like I need a towel on my head for many, many hours. Okay. I'm just saying, like, good. Booty shot. I feel his sister, Onishan, should figure out who's on the phone. Onishan! She's like, Onishan! And he's like, who's on the phone? He's like, she said like, Onishan! <laughs> What's she wondering about? Am I the only guy? She's like, Onishan! And he's like, yeah, who could it be? Who could it be? After she's like, Onishan! Sushan! Yeah, who could it be, girl? <laughs> What are they doing now then? They're gonna jump from the from the roof. Some badass. Okay. I like the music, he's like, yeah, let's go. Knucklefs, okay, that's the he's falling asleep, you know. Uh okay. <laughs> What's happening? And now is he not done yet over here? What's happening? And he's like, I gotta see my girlfriends. It's like a music video he's doing? Ah, oh, it's, 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 it's happening. Okay, it's, it's some horror music video. He's fucking this. Oh yeah, transforming into a monster. What's happening? Okay, okay. I guess it's falling into the well here. It's gonna be some Resident Evil PC, definitely. <gasps> No, it's cutting. Is it a younger scene? It's cutting his girlfriends. But he's the one bleeding though, so. Is it dead for his blood? No, this is a weird. Okay, yeah, this is a weird. But this is a weird scene. I don't know what's happening. But, um. What are they selling with this thing? The music band? Acid Snake? I don't know. What was it? What? I don't even know what they're selling. I'm back to what she said earlier. What are they selling? Uh, doki doki. She was like doki doki. That was very romantic though, or something. She's like that was doki doki though. But but what are they selling? The band? Sell so, so a snake? Or snake? I mean, what what are they selling? Like the first thing was like you said this, you know, water. Yeah. Now it's like music a video. How was it another commercial for the same item? I don't understand what they're actually pro promoting. It's, the music band itself. He's like, I'm also, because how is it related to the cottage? We're also doing a musical video. I don't know how they won this thing. How was the other thing about commercialized in the world thing? But I like, I am your Onesha. It's very like determining, I am your Onesha. Like, Kuro is keep saying it, Onesha, Onesha. Hmm. I'm still wondering how they won. <laughs> I'm still like, how they. Actually, we didn't see what other people did, though. I suppose the anime didn't even show us what the other. how they really worked and what the other people did, really. So. They didn't give us enough screen time on the on the opponents, I suppose. Ultra Marine Alliance. Yeah. 
Mm hmm. I've been spying on you, boy. Rich people, yeah, it's like you. Okay, so I have a revenge plan. Ah, his father is rich, right? Come on, he's your rich father. Yeah, your father, you despise your father. Of course, he's connected to his father somehow. <laughs> it's like a weird, this like weird subplot in the anime. Just, he's out for some kind of evil revenge because of his dad is a rich douchebag or something. And of course, Ab is also part of that whole. Uh... <laughs> I was like, I don't know you. I'm also working behind the scenes. <laughs> this is everyone's like, I also got my own evil agenda from the side. It's like, okay. Yeah, they all have the weird um, angles. There's one word for it. Hmm. Okay, she wants to avoid Chobits. <laughs> that was profitable. <laughs> I'm taking the best one that wins. I want to make some money, bro. Yeah, it's like, good, good. It feels like every character is Anna is very scheming. Yeah, every character is like, I'm scheming my own new strategy. I'm scheming my strategy, right? Yeah, it's like every person is like, I also have a dog scheme going on. Yeah, it's a scheme. That, that, that what this anime is. It's a scheme. Everyone is like, I have a scheme too, man. I have my scheme, you have your scheme. Let's scheme together, right? They're like, yeah, let's scheme a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, oh, I know about your scheme. Do you know about my scheme? Let's combine our scummy schemes. <laughs> it's like, as it's a scheme. <laughs> this is the anime. Yeah. This is the anime where everyone's like, I got my own scheme. Do you get a scheme? This is definitely an anime. You, can, you should call it Scheme the Anime. Um, that would be a good title for this anime. Yeah. Scheme the Anime. Everyone is like, here's my scheme. You see my scheme. Let's combine our schemes, right? Let's, yeah, let's unite in our secret, dirty secrets, right? And do this thing and. Yeah, I will go with him, and then we plan some shit going on, and so they both lie to the main character. I feel like every step, everyone said the main character is just, is just a douchebag schemer. In that way, no one is like this anime, except the main character, because everyone is like, we have our plan, and this plan, and this plan, and he says, I know about your scheme, and you must scheme, and that scheme. There's no Arby here too, right? I also have a scheme, man. It's like, come on. It's true. Ultramarine. I kept saying it. that is like how do you fight the name it? Ultramarine Alliance. What are they fighting? Godzilla? Come on. Mecha Godzilla? Motra? Oh, she's gonna transfer, of course. Ha! Little Imoto! Yeah, she's coming here. Haru! You bastard! You ready to have two wives? You don't need three wives here? Of course, she's gonna transfer to his school because she has the money and power, right? She wants the she wants the action, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Like, why wouldn't she transfer? I mean, it's like in her uh, her best personal interest, right? To transfer. Harry, yeah. Oh yeah, she quit. She can go to his school. Of course she did. Of course she did. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, and they're both like, leave us, husband alone. Ha! Huh? Are But yeah, well, that makes sense. Of course, it's transfer still. Oh, yeah, the big Opai uh, worker for money girl. Paisan, the one willing to do everything for money, yeah. Rena Shan. The big Opai stuff, yeah. She's up pies and money. <laughs> she's standing with the man. She knows she got big up pies. Her whole character is like, look at me holding this broom with my up pies. Yeah, my up pies can carry a broom. That's how big they are. Uh, 
He's the only one caring about me. Yeah, he's not screaming at all. But then we sad, but everyone is so dislikable, I think. Sad <laughs> That's why we are real friends. She's like, you know he's screaming, right? You know he's a liar, right? Yeah, she, she's like, you know he's lying to you, right? Everyone's lying to you. Don't, don't even... Man, this poor main character, he's surrounded by enemies. He really is, right? He's surrounded by everyone who hates him, yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> they're, only, they're only interested in screaming with him. He's like, I'm using him from against my evil father. Skipping the ending, I guess. Hmm. Oh yeah, she was faking it. <laughs> was she faking the Amisha? Oh no! I could never see that coming. Yeah, that was fake, eh? That was fake. Yeah, yeah, he was faking it. What a surprise. Oh yeah, I went straight back to my my Amisha tasteful and gone. Man, summer classes. Very Japan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember that with your Amicia? Oh my god, he's like, he's like, oh no. Yeah, it's no ending. Instead of Kuro revealing, she's. <laughs> I'm a schemer, you're a schemer. Yeah. And of course she schemed. Of course she was like, tee -hee -hee. <laughs> I used to the t face. You gotta forgive me now, boy. Um, yeah, t -hee -hee, you know, kind of like me yesterday, yeah. It works better if you're a demon lord than you can destroy doors. Though. God, that's destruction of door. I'm gonna find scene again. There's a cute scene here. Oh, accidentally, I remember everything about that schemer. Schemer as I am. Here we go. Just gonna say it now here. Just gonna pause it here perfectly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Come on, you can't hate me. I'm a cute girl. <laughs> Come on, boy. Don't you like cute girls? Um, but yeah, to no surprise, Kuru is a, is a screaming douchebag. I ever asked, right? So um, here's the scene, baby. Just clicking there and then this button. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, yeah, it's it's like it might be just of Mimi. Mimi is like, oh, I just saw it's not a house. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, I'm a cute demon girl. <laughs> you can't hate me. Uh, yeah, very much so. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, everyone is a goddamn schemer, man. Like his friends, he's like, he's my only friend I can trust. And he's like, I'm using scheme against my father. <laughs> right then, the other guy is like, I'm also have one evil scheme with him going on. It's like, goddamn, man. I, I feel this anime is funny, someone, but. It's like you see more and more. She's you know Peach, she's on, she's changed to his school and so on. It really is an anime where like every person though, uh, maybe not her sisters though, like her you know uh, Midori, Naoi, and those characters. They might not be so schemish though, but but all of the main girls and his friends, they're all goddamn schemish. They're also dislikable. In, in, in that way, the horror anime is pretty bad in that sense. I mean, from like a horror standpoint, where you wanna you know uh, you know be wanna smash them. You know what I mean? From like a smashing angle, because most horror, of course, you feel like, oh man, I could marry any girl here. They're also amazing, so funny. They, they would be great wife, sister, you know what I mean? But here it's like, man, I don't want to marry anyone in this anime. They're, they're all so, so scummy, right? <laughs> yeah, they're also scummy. So you're like, I don't know, man. And his friends are scummy too. So you're like, well, yeah, this anime is like, they're all goddamn douchebags. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's like, she's a douchebag, his friends are douchebags, they're all using him, and he's like, he's my friend, because he's the only one not using me, and, he's, and she's like, you should use no, <laughs> Rena's like, sure, sure, honey, he's not using you, like the other ones, and I mean, especially, he's like, hee hee hee, I lied about everything, you can't be angry at me for that, right, come on, cutie pie, and he's like, yeah, 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 um, but I mean, obviously, obviously, they're all our, 
they're all douchebags, yeah. I mean, obviously, they're all horrible people. Uh, <laughs> it's not anime, but everyone who's a horrible person, yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, you, you thought we cared about you? Of course we don't. <laughs> like, it's just, like, it is, uh, yeah, it's sad in that way. You're like, oh, you thought we cared? We don't. <laughs> like, like, it's like, nope, we don't, man. We don't care, man. We're all pure douches. Um... Just deal with it, yeah. It's like, yep, I'm a douche, she's a douche, she's a douche. Uh, but really, though, I, I feel the more I watch the anime, in in that sense, it's not a good horror anime. I mean, it's a horror anime in comedy alone, but... Like, again, right, if you watch something, imagine, quit up, because, you know, she thinks something, yeah. Or whatever, tension more or something. Lavina, you can see yourself, oh, this is a great woman, I could marry her, you know. Of course, sometimes they have the kind of evil horror character that you can uh, like from a kind of, you know, some kind of... Down the path or whatever, but here it really is like, oh, they're all just screaming douchebags. It's not a single one that's a nice thing. They're all like, <laughs> how can I utilize this to my own advantage? Yeah, they're all just douchebags. So, in, in that sense, the horror, from a romantic standpoint, I feel the horror is, I don't say it's failing because it, it feels like the horror is purposely done like this, right? The author writes them like all douchebags. So, I guess it is not failing, but it's more like, yeah, the author is going for this, like, well, they're all douches, so he's gonna, you know, just do something with that <laughs> yeah but i feel like well you know that, that they're all crappy people so uh yeah <laughs> it's like okay uh the way they go from here uh, you, you know they're all just crap and that's my harem they're they're all bad people so yeah <laughs> but it's kind of like that you know like they're they're just all horrible to him um poor main character really is um, but anyway, this review, guys. I I said earlier uh, during the episode, but especially this interview. Oh, they're all they're so douchey. Um, this this really the more you watch the anime, the, the more you're like, wow, I wouldn't like any of these female or the main character, you know, or his friends. They're all horrible people. So, um, I mean, as a comedy, it still works though. Um, but it, but it does kind of get a little bit. Oh, it, it doesn't feel as horror horror me anymore because I'm just like, man, I don't. I, I feel sorry for him. They're, they're kind of like they are bad people. They're also evil. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Kuru, of course, lied. No surprise. T all goddamn schemes, all of them. 